Hey, this is Justin Harris with Cigar.com. That's C-I-G-A-H-R.com. And um, today I just felt like doing a video. I had some things on my mind and I just wanted to get them off. Um, it's not really a how-to video. Uh, it's more so of a how-not-to video just because, you know, we've all been in cigar shops or around people that are smoking cigars uh, that just always seem to, you know, have an opinion about what you shouldn't do and um, telling you how you should enjoy your cigar and you know just anybody who knows anything about cigars knows that everything is about preference you know people do things differently people you know like to cut their cigars differently people like to light their cigars differently people like to draw on their cigars differently I mean it's just a matter of personal taste you know so you know who are we or who are you to anybody to tell somebody that they're not doing it right um, it's really just hey that's not how I would do it um, but you know, and that's cool. You know, we get into conversations about cigars, and I mean, naturally. Uh, but, you know, sometimes when people are looking for those conversations, you know, looking to tell people what they should and shouldn't do, that's when it gets annoying. So there's nothing wrong with sharing best practices. There's nothing wrong with offering suggestions. But I just know there's a time and a place and, you know, a tone that we should have when we do that. Um, so I just wanted to go through some of the different things that, that people do or say or that you shouldn't do or say and all that. So um, first, uh, we'll just take a cigar and we'll, uh, we'll, 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 I mean, I want to smoke a cigar today. So we're going to cut it, light it, smoke it, and just talk as we go, if that's cool with you. So um, one thing people always say about the cigars, you'll notice that this one doesn't have a, 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 a band on it. Um, and that's one big thing also, you know, should you leave the band on? Should you take the band off? Um, again, a matter of personal preference. Some people like to keep that band on because they want everybody to know what they're smoking. <laughs> you know, maybe it's an expensive cigar. They want everybody to know that they shelled out 20 bucks for it. Um, some people like to keep it on because it keeps their fingers uh, from getting too hot when they're holding the cigar. It keeps, you know, you smoke a lot of cigars and you always uh, take the bands off. You might even start to get like, you know like stains on your fingers you know so the bands help with that um some people like to take them off just because you know they don't want to have to, you know they just want to enjoy the cigar they don't care you know once they get into the cigar they're not they don't need a constant reminder of what they're smoking they know what they're smoking so um no need to have a band so again there's no right or wrong it's just a matter of preference um and you know so we shouldn't get on to people for you know leaving them on and taking them off some people like to just you know Keep it on just as a you know sign of respect for that particular company or for you know the the person who you know put it on there you know because I've seen firsthand you know labels going on cigars and it's not easy trust me you think it's easy just to put a piece of paper on there man no it's not it's not easy I've tried it and I'm not good at it it's it's a it's stressful too um, so just as a matter of respect for those um, for those workers that put that on there they keep it on there so. Uh, but just for this video, because uh, we're not promoting any particular cigar, I took mine off. Um, so that's another reason why you can take it off. Um, you know, it's just about you know enjoying the cigar and not about advertising. Um, so it's a matter of preference. So we're gonna cut it. Um, there's another area where people have different preferences. Some people like to just you know peel the cap off with their fingers. Some people like to bite. Um, so, and in which works I've done all of those and if you're in a pinch and you don't have the necessary tools sometimes you just have to do what you have to do to get that thing off right um, but today I have my guillotine cutter here uh, which is one of my personal favorites um, I like this particular one because uh, one because this is with Zycar but it, it's a uh, cool little combo set where it's like a little magnet so I love that about this one it keeps it all together because I'll lose it if it's not connected um, but I love these particular type of cutters because um, it'll give you what's called a perfect cut you know some people just take their guillotine and just line it up you know which is perfectly fine uh, some people don't have a steady enough hand for that so you know I have one but you know if I just want it consistently cut every time I like to lay my cutter down place the cigar on a flat surface and just snip um, so I'll do it in a second but um, some people like a V cut some people like a punch. There's no right or wrong. Um, just because somebody's using a punch over a cutter doesn't mean that they're an amateur. Uh, doesn't mean that they don't know what they're doing or they don't know how to enjoy a cigar. Everybody has a personal preference in terms of how much smoke they want to get out of the uh, cigar. How much, um, you know, some people like the, the buildup of the, the heat and the, 
and or nicotine in the cigar. So, it, I mean, it just, it's all varies depending on the type of cut um, that you use. Um, it gives you a lot of different things. Particular sizes or particular uh, Vitolas, you know, require a specific type of cut. It's hard to get a larger gauge cigar in, you know, in some guillotines. Um, so you may require a V cut or a punch just because it won't fit. Uh, you may require scissors uh, because they won't fit. Um, you know, it's harder to punch a torpedo unless you punch it on the side or something. So uh, that may require something like a V cut or a guillotine. So it just it just really depends on the kind of mood you're in, what equipment you have with you. Um, it depends on the shape and size of your cigar. So again, no wrong way to do it. So. We'll go ahead and take the cap off here. Like I said, this is just my preferred method because just line it up there and, and there you go. You know, perfect, even cut every time. Um, and then, you know, after you kind of test the draw, do a dry draw, see how much air you get through there. If you need a little bit more, uh, the thing I like about this one is it's so thin and cuts basically the minimal uh, off of that cap, but if I needed to cut it again, I could, and I'm still not getting too far down and unraveling the cigar. Um, so that's another reason why I love this one, is that it's so thin and it's just so precise that, you know, even if I need more, I can do it. So that's one thing that you have to be careful with if you're doing it by hand, you know, just lining it up, where if you take too much, your cigar might start unraveling, uh, where if you take too little, you're not really able to get a good draw out of it. So this one will do. I got it right the first time. Ooh. So lighting a cigar is another biggie, you know, and like I said, everybody has their preferences and their pet peeves and then, you know, their little nuances. And so it's, you know, when you sit around a cigar shop and you're watching people light up their cigars, it's either like a, oh, why are they doing that? Or, oh, I never do that. Or I remember when I used to do that. Or, you know, all those type of feelings and thoughts go through your head. So, but again, you know, there's no right or wrong. Some people, you know, like this, like that, don't mind that. So, uh, but one the one way that um, uh, thing that I learned is that when I first started smoking cigars early on, uh, I wasn't necessarily using a torch lighter. I was just using whatever lighter I could find, um, and I and I was able to notice the taste um, just uh, from the different types of fuel, uh, whether it be just a regular old cigarette bic lighter or whether it be just a cleaner type of fuel from a torch. So I was able to notice that early on. So if you ever notice that you, that your cigar just tastes like fire, <laughs> then that, well, that may be one thing that you consider switching over to a torch light where you have that cleaner butane, um, cleaner butane fuel. Um, another thing is that I used to do is when I used to light my cigars, I would just light it, have a flame right up to it, and just, and just puff and just puff like I was kind of smoking a cigarette. Um, and a couple of things I noticed from that is that the cigars would be really hot. I would always have this bitter taste in my mouth afterwards. Um, I would love smoking a cigar, or the idea of smoking a cigar, but I would dread, you know, you know, a few hours later. I would dread the next morning because I knew I would wake up and I had this horrible taste in my mouth. Um, so one thing that, you know, and this is just for me because I still see a lot of people, you know, experience cigar smokers just putting it up there and just going at it, which is fine. Um, there's nothing against it, there's nothing wrong with that. But I actually prefer just to, you know, keep, and the cool thing about a torch too is that, you know, especially when it has that longer flame, is that, you know, the flame never really has to touch your cigar. And so what I do is I just toast the, toast the end, the flame's not even touching it, because actually the flame is actually the hottest at the very tip. Um, and so it never even has to touch your cigar because there's enough heat generated from that tip to where I can hold it all the way back here. And it's still, you can still see that it's light in the cigar. So I just like to toast the end of it, just to get the middle, just toast it. Doesn't have to start burning or be red, just to get it warm. Uh, because that middle part, that filler, it's gonna burn. So you don't have to worry about that. And then, just focusing on the edge, on the edge, on the ring. Getting the outside nice and evenly lit again not touching the cigar directly with the flame because i don't want it to burn too fast or unevenly nor do i want it to taste charred so you get it around there nice and evenly again one thing about this is that when you light your cigar without drawing on it 
you're not pulling that flame into the cigar. Because think about it. If you're lighting it and, and drawing at the same time, you're pulling all of that heat, all of that flame into the cigar. So you're going to taste more of that than you're going to taste tobacco. So that's one thing to think about too. And I just like to rotate mine a little bit just to make sure that it's burning evenly. And evenly lit, and looks like we're going well here. So, um, so we're off. So that's, like I said, that's just the way I do things. There's no right or wrong way to that. Um, and then also, um, the way you hold it, who cares? It doesn't matter as long as it's comfortable for you. It's about you enjoying your cigar, not people enjoying watching you smoke the cigar. So if you hold it like this, if you hold it like this, if you're holding it like this, it doesn't matter. Whatever is comfortable for you so that you can enjoy your cigar. And I'm out in the yard and there's like stuff behind me, like animals in the trees and stuff. But um, that's it um, for right now. I just wanted to kind of go over those things. Nothing big, like, again, like I said again. It's just everything is about a matter of preference and a matter of what works for you and what helps you to enjoy your cigar. So I'm going to sit here and enjoy this cigar and sit out here in nature with animals and limbs falling out of trees behind me and uh, hope you have a great day. Make sure you check me out at cigar.com. That's C-I-G-A-H-R.com. Uh, check it out. Share one of the posts on there. Um, if you're interested in reaching out to me, all my contact information is there. Uh, guest posts, reviews, whatever it is you need. Questions, hey. Or you just want to socialize and say, hey, hit me up on cigar.com. Thank you.